I'm going to be able to I can get up if I need to, if I have to close the garage or something happens. Yeah, no, it should be fine. Recording has started. Uh, thank you again okay. of course, for letting me do the demo to record it in general. Um, like I said, I'm doing it for the training purposes um, mm -hmm. to be able to use it as, you know, training for other representatives. So I appreciate that. Um, so that means a lot for sure. I'm happy we could obviously do the demo. It's nice to meet you officially. Uh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. And so you live out in San Bernardino, is that right? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Cool. Gotcha. And did you grow up around there? No. My kids, no. Um, let's see. Uh, they grew up in San Dimas. My kids did. Okay. So when we moved out here, they were in um, middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. So they, they're from, you can basically say they're from both areas. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Me, I'm more of an Ontario, I went, I graduated from Ontario High School. Okay, gotcha, Southern California. Originally native, from, so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was right. born in Oakland, originally from um, the LA Compton, Long Beach area, but yeah. Okay. My dad was in the military, so yeah. Oh, very cool, what branch? Uh, Army. Oh, okay, well, thank you for, for, for thank you for our service then. Appreciate yeah. that. You my, fa my father, my father, my two brothers, and my husband, all were in the army. Oh wow, gotcha. So definitely someone in the family. Well, that's very cool. That's very mm -hmm. very cool. Awesome. Um, wow, that's awesome. Very cool. And then do you you work yourself? You said right. I'm retired. Okay. What did you used to do? Uh, I was a case manager. I required. Oh. I retired from the Department of uh, Social Services, San Bernardino. Oh. Okay. Got. And how long did you do that can, for? Can you see me? A little bit, like <laughs> kind of. Oh. I got like the top okay. of your head. <laughs> like that i said uh how long did you were you a case manager for uh almost 25 years i believe okay cool did you go to school for that or how'd you end up doing that well let's see i went from working in a hospital for 10 years to working as a um, office manager at um and ran the whole office for an ambulance company for during about 10 years and then i don't know I applied and I had the qualifications. So just a lot of okay. human resource classes, uh, supervisor okay. skills, uh, working with the public, all that stuff. Okay. Very, very cool. That makes sense. Okay, cool. And then you said you're retired. How long have you been retired for? Five years. Very cool. So what do you do? What do you do now? What do you like to do in your, in your extra time now? Well, I'm really involved in my church. Okay. Who's calling? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on. No worries. Hey, book. Hello? Who is this? Okay, I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing, I'm doing a, a virtual um, uh, demonstration on Zoom. So uh, how long are you gonna be over the booth? Okay, good answer, good answer. I knew you were my granddaughter for a reason. Good answer, okay. Then I'll be over there whenever I'm done. I'll call one of you guys' phone. Okay. Okay, I'll call Boot. Tell her answer phone. Okay. All right. She finally made it. I told her that was now. See, it's her name is Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we'll call her Brooke. Mm -hmm. And then Jacqueline's name is Jacqueline, but I we I never call her Jacqueline. I call her Boot. So it gets confusing. Boot and Brooklyn, and because they're only yeah. spelled the same. I'm like. Absolutely, yeah, I can, I can see that. I can, I can see how that would be a thing. Okay. <laughs> so, Got um, it. I'm hot on the streets today. But anyway, um, I was going to tell you, um, you asked me, oh, what I do in okay. my spare time. Yeah. I'm a, deacon, I'm a deaconess at my church. Okay. I'm a special events director of my church. Uh, I used to be a youth teacher in my church. Oh, very cool. <laughs> I help with a lot of bereavement. Gotcha. People. And I help like put the uh, repast together and stuff like uh -huh. that. Um, I volunteer and I clean the church once a week. Mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm really active in my community. Um, I do uh, well we, since well since we've been on lockdown, can't do it. But I used to do coffee with cops once a month. Very cool. Um, pastors United, where all the pastors like um, around the area get together and they we put on like um, block parties in the mm -hmm. bad neighborhoods. Um, we give away clothes, food, prayer, different organizations come to help them with different things that that's available to them. Sure. Um, also, I um, 
um, belong to Inland Count, I mean, it's uh, Inland Empire Concerned African American Churches. I'm um, involved in that. And we do a really big uh, Martin Luther King's birthday uh, celebration every year where we have all close to 700 people. And I'm on that committee, so I'm, I'm really wow. active with that. Yeah, okay. I do the decorating and stuff. And I have a little small, I don't do it for money, my decorating that I do. Um, it's more like I do it as, uh, people want to pay me, I said, just give me a love offering. I don't really have a fee. Mm -hmm. I like to decorate. And I own most of my stuff. Okay. Very, very cool. So same, the same busy, it sounds like. Definitely not just like hanging oh, out. Oh, yeah. Uh, super yeah, busy. This, th yeah, this is not working for me. Oh, I'm sorry. That's because we have an IgG. And so that's people texting the information. We're going to go on Zoom and do it. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Cool. Then we'll definitely get started here. Uh, cause I know you obviously super busy. It sounds like got a lot going on with the church and everything. Oh yeah. Um, so thank you, of course, for the you know in the first place for taking the time to see my presentation. It definitely does mean a lot to me. Um, like I said, let me tell you a little bit about me. Obviously, I'm Catherine's son. Um, so I uh, actually work out here in Newport Beach. Uh, I actually run the Cutco office out here. I've been with the company now uh, for a little over five years. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, no, a little under five years, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, started the job right out of high school and then basically moved my way up from being just a sales representative to running summer offices. Um, and this is now obviously doing this as a career um, for the last about almost three years now doing it as a career, which is pretty fun, really mm -hmm. exciting. I uh, really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun for me. Uh, it allows me to spend extra time with my little brother and sister, which I believe you've met Ari and Ariana, is oh, that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're, they're I, like my absolute favorite people on the planet. You know, it, I love that this opportunity just gives me you know, a chance to be able to give back to them. I love whenever they you know, text me or FaceTime me and they're like, hey, can you buy me this? I can just send it over. So that's always been really fun. For yeah. Me. Uh, so very, very cool. Now, uh, do you mind if I share a couple of my goals with you real quick? That's kind of why I'm doing this presentation sure. here today. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as with the company, basically, the reason I've been here so long, um, is I just love the fact that I'm able to give back. I'm sure much in the same way that why you participate in church so much is like just being able to kind of share that, that feeling mm -hmm. that you get from being in church and that community, um, what you've learned and, you know, how you've grown. That's kind of the same exact thing that I've gotten from this company. So that's kind of why I'm a manager now is to be able mm -hmm. to influence and impact um, you know, people that were just like me when I graduated high school that didn't have a lot of confidence, didn't have a lot of resume experience. And um, you know, definitely, we're just looking for a great opportunity to have um, interaction with each other. Um, and so that's kind of why I went into the management role. And I've been able to do that now for the last three years in my office. And our office is currently the number one office here on the West Coast and in the top three in the entire nation. And our goal this year is to be the number one office in the entire nation. Uh, and so the reason I'm doing this little presentation today is so that I can use this as training purposes for my representatives to be able to see basically how I do presentations and how I was able to do so well with the company. I was able to sell over $150,000 worth of Cutco um, and be an All-American Scholarship to be one of the top 25 students in the nation um, twice while I was in school, which is pretty cool. Well, let me know if that gets too loud. I can close the garage. Actually, yeah, no, you're fine. I can hear the cars kind of here and here, here yeah. and there a little bit. Not a big deal. <laughs> I mean, um, no worries, nice. okay? Uh, so that's just a little bit about kind of what I'm doing and how I've been here so far and, you know, what I really appreciate about the company and, and everything there. Now, have you ever heard of Cutco before? Yeah, my daughter, um, matter of fact, my youngest daughter, um, she was trying to sell it at one time. I remember okay. that. Okay, gotcha. How long did I think she is in college or something? Yeah. Did she ever end up actually selling Cutco? I don't know if she made any sales or not. <laughs> she couldn't gotcha. sell no, me, so I don't know. Definitely, she couldn't sell me, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> gotcha. Which yeah. is definitely a challenging position. You know, something that I know is not for everyone forever, but I, I definitely love that. You know, so mm -hmm. many different kinds of people at least give it a try because I know it sells isn't for everyone. But I know that yeah. the skills and the experience uh, and just the confidence boosters people can get is really cool. So that's definitely one of my favorite parts about it. Um, now, since I'm, I'm kind of new, I haven't actually done a demo like this in uh, mm -hmm. four years. <laughs> so the last time I did an online demo, uh, I'm going to be reading from my manual here today. So is that cool? Is it just like, okay, so you, if you see me looking down, I'm just making sure I see all the right things here today so that I know what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, I'm going to close this garage because I, okay. I think it's going to be distracting. Cool. No worries. Then I'll go ahead and I'll load up the presentation while you do that. I have my side door open. I got my... What happened? Oh, oh you're cool. showing me stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm sharing the screen with you. I'm trying to figure out where where we went, though. I would oh, like to there we it. are right there. Okay, you can see us. I can't see us, though. Oh. <laughs> How funny. Um, okay, hold up. Let me see. I want to stop there you that. Go. 
Okay, so now I can see you and I, but there should be a way, I'm pretty sure, to see both of us. Nope. So that when I do that, I can't see you again. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I can see you. I got I'm in the glare. I got my TV on in here. Yes, I got a TV in my garage. Oh, there we are. Okay. Gotcha. There we are. All right, perfect. Yeah, I see the garage is all decked out. I got the car in there. Yeah, uh, actually, actually, I put two cars in here. I have a little mini. Um, that's my red Lexus. Okay. And I have a mini. Um, uh, uh, what is it? A Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. Okay. It's red too. <laughs> red, is red is red your color? No. No. <laughs> and then my I have, no, I have my husband's truck. Um, okay. It's a it's a 2004 uh, Dodge Ram. With okay. Hemi. So I I have that. Uh, no, I, actually, the cars were bought on a fluke. The red car was bought because I got upset because I had a white Lexus. It was a 2003. Uh -huh. And it kept acting up. Light kept, engine light kept coming on. My mechanic said, it's fine. You can drive it. It's going to cost this much to get it fixed, but you can still drive it. So I got mad one day, and I went to the Lexus dealer, and I, I didn't want another white car. And the only car that they had that was in my price range was the red one. So I bought it. So got I said, it. Okay. Then when I got the Mitsubishi, I had I've had it about a year. Yeah, I think about it in February of last year. But okay. what I did was when I got ready to get that car, I, I knew what I wanted to pay because I wanted to. I was saving my money. I wanted to pay cash because I'm allergic to car payments. So I waited and waited, and I kept looking. I kept going to Enterprise because they have you know because they sell rental cars, mm -hmm. and those cars are taken care of because they can't afford not to take care of. Right. You put people lives on the line. So I kept looking and one guy told me, oh, well, you're not going to find a car for that price. Well, I said, well, you don't have the faith I have. So back it up. He said he was a minister too. I said, well, I wouldn't go to your church. And so anyway, I wind up, um, I think I was at the hospital or something. And I looked online and I saw the red Mr. B. She had what I wanted. I want that car. It was in Montclair. I want that car. So I went down there. I called the guy. They still had it and did it. Boom, bam. No done. car payment. Yeah. Done. Ready and to go. Yeah, it's a and it's a 2018. Okay. So. Cool. Very, very cool. Awesome. Love that. Good Wait, like I said on the phone, um, you don't have to get anything, but if you see something you like, you can get it today. Um, I'll acknowledge you, of course, be getting a great product. You'd be helping me out too. Like I said, um, you know, our, our team is looking to to you know be a national championship level team here today. So I know that while you know my office's goals don't mean anything to you, you're not gonna wake up tomorrow like, oh my gosh, I have these crazy goals. Uh, what it does mean, though, is if you see anything you like, just feel free to let me know, and, and you know, I'll help you get it today, because I'll show you the absolute best deal. One, of course, uh, we have friends and family discounts, and two, uh, just because, you know, I'll see any way that you can help me out, I'll do my absolute best to always help you out um, in that same way. And what's really cool is with, you know, obviously, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now with the COVID-19 uh, COVID protocols. Um, mm -hmm. People are cooking more, so we're actually having some of our best sales months um, in fact, my office mm -hmm. is having its best two sales months uh, ever um, in the middle of everything going on right now because of how much people are cooking. So we have some really great deals going on. So I'll definitely make sure I show you those today. But Cutco is awesome. You can buy sets or pieces. Uh, we do have tons of accessories and gifts as well. Uh, and we also have interest-free monthly investment options. So if you don't want to, you don't have to pay for it all at once, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And just so I know, do you cook because you have to, like to, or love to? Um. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of everything. Well, you know what? I I'm so I was so used to cooking. I cooked every day for my kids when they were like when um little my son well, I call him little Peter when he when they were growing up I cooked yeah. all the time. Um, mm -hmm. they used to get tired of me cooking. Um, then when I got married for the second time when I married my second husband, he's uh -huh. a fantastic uh -huh. cook. Oh, okay. And his thing was um. When we went to premarital counseling, he uh -huh. said, um, I'll be doing all the cooking. Huh, no problem. I am retired from cooking. So I was happy. Boom. You know, because I didn't have to cook. And he, you know, he cooked very healthy, health conscious, mm -hmm. all this stuff. But when he got into his car accident, of course, now I have to start back cooking. And I had a couple of my grandkids uh, for a while going to school and they were living with me. And, and then after they left and graduated, I stopped cooking. I'll cook a little bit here and there. Okay. But now, now I'm back uh, cooking because I went, when I got ready to buy this car, the, the Mitsubishi, I went on a, I'm going to stay away from the fast food places because that costs a lot of money. Yeah, absolutely. 
So I started saving money because I stayed away from the fast food place. I think I stayed away a total. I think I was away from a good eight months. No, I mean, no fast food. No fast food at all for eight months? None. Wow, that's right. impressive. Yeah, and I, I recycle too because I like to help the environment. I don't do recycling because of the money. I do it because I have a love and a passion for it. Of course. I love, re- I love, did I say love, love recycling. Very cool. I, very I, cool I recycle for my church. I got my church very, con- I said, when we come back, we're going green. Awesome. Yeah, well, you, you seem very philanthropic. I love that. That's very, very cool. But uh, I, I, like, cool. I have a love for cooking. I, you okay. know, I, I do. You know, awesome. And it's great. And you're going to love Cutco. And just, just so I know, I just want to make sure, of course, um, there's, there's no problems if you need, if you want to end up, you know, liking something, uh, being able to like make a home decision. Like, you know, if, if you get some new knives, no one's going to come home and be like, oh my gosh, like what happened no, to the my, old knives, my, right? my husband's been in the hospital for almost 10 years. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Oh, I can, I can tell you this. If he was not in the hospital and he was his, you know, if it was, we uh-huh. rewind 10 years ago. Yeah. I guarantee he probably would have, I want it all. I said, but they cost <laughs> thousands. He wouldn't care because he's an excellent cook. He's awesome. more like a chef. He likes to cook. So very he cooks cool. and bakes. So Very, very cool. Um, all right. So just to make sure, so you can see the screen here. Everything's moving. You're mm-hmm. seeing right now, you see a picture of a factory worker working on a knife there and like an American flag. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Well, today I'll tell you, of course, why Cutco is a top selling American made brand in the U.S. Now we'll take a look at our product line interview prices and specials at the end. And of course, Mrs. Banks, uh, we do only work through referrals. So at the end of today, really my main goal is just you like me and Kekko enough to tell like your closest 200 church friends just all about me so that I can go out and let them know about Kekko as well. Okay, just kidding. We'll Most of them, I now. guarantee, because they wouldn't know how to do the, the, the Zoom. <laughs> not a problem. We can do it over the phone as well. Not a big deal. We can make okay. it work. But uh, let me tell you a little bit about our company. So since 1949, all Kekko knives have been made in the United States and our factory in Olean, New York. Uh, we actually sell over $200 million worth of Cutco annually, and we have over 16 million customers. Um, you may have seen us on TV on shows like Modern Marvels and Made in America. And we're only, you know, we truly believe one of the only products that you can buy once, use every day, and never have to replace. Uh, Cutco is also a product producer of many K Bar knives. We have both military and law enforcement agents. Are you familiar with K Bar by any chance? With what? With K Bar? No. No, because no, they're the official combat tool of the Marines and the Navy. So I'm sure actually here, I have a picture of one. You may, you may be familiar if I show you one, but they kind of like a little bit like, like this. I don't know if anyone in your family has ever gotten one of these. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I have seen those before. Yeah. Probably, uh, yeah. yeah so that's been around a, for a big... long time. Yeah. So we actually own them as well. We don't sell a bunch of that stuff. You know, we have like a couple, but we do own that factory as well. And uh, one of the things that you'll probably be really happy to hear about, Cutco is actually involved with many local and national charities. Uh, we work with all kinds of things, something like what's called our Cutco Cares World Impact Group um, is actually a foundation that when all of our managers go on our national trip, like this year, uh, I was actually in Paris right before everything kind of shut down on the planet. Uh, we actually were able to go out and do um, some volunteer work uh, with a local uh, nonprofit. We were able to basically go out and help feed refugees. I've done like, you know, stuff at YMCA's, oh, which is really cool. It's one of my favorite things about our company trips. So we actually oh, go that's out and good. I've, I've, I've been, been on a few um, out of country uh, missionaries. So I, yeah, I know. So, very, very cool. Perfect. We're going to start off, I'll show you a couple of products that demonstrate the quality of Cutco. So the first one here is going to be our super shears. So I'm going to go and start the video here. Oh, my daughter has those. Yeah, everyone loves these things. These are the absolute best. You've probably seen this little demo before with the penny, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so this is one of the favorites. You can see they come apart for easy cleaning. So, yeah, the high carbon stainless steel makes them good for everything in the kitchen. As you can see, they're just going to work on a penny right there. It's one of my favorite little demos. Um, and the stainless steel, like I said, makes them good for everything in the kitchen, as well as indoor and outdoor projects. Uh, they're dishwasher safe, and they come apart for easy cleaning. So I personally use them. Um, mm-hmm. Rob is opening everything in the kitchen. I don't, do you go to Costco at all? Yes. You know, everything in Costco comes in like three layers of plastic, just like yes. that. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're the best things for that. Or like Christmas morning. Uh, I'm sure you haven't had Christmas morning when you're opening a bunch of toys anymore, but like for my little brother and sister. Oh yeah, um, just to get like, to the toy. And there's like <laughs> nine layers of cardboard and then there's all these things. I love them. Or Amazon. Amazon. When you're getting yeah, stuff from Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, so, yeah, but I love them for that. They work for literally everything. I also use them to help cut up like parsley, like herbs as well. 
So instead of having to chop it all up, I can just cut it up right into the you know, pasta or whatever I'm making. So those are a customer favorite. Everyone loves those for sure. But the next one, this is my mom's favorite, actually. This is our veggie peeler. And uh, you've definitely got to try out this peeler. My mom has like six of them. It's her favorite thing on the planet. Um, you can see it just glides down that chair, which is beautiful. It actually goes forward. And as you see here, it even goes backwards. So it actually goes both oh, okay. directions, which is pretty cool. And the blade also comes out for easy cleaning. And so all of our gadget cleaning accessories are guaranteed forever and dishwasher safe. Um, and a lot of our customers actually get in, end up getting one of these two items for free. And I'll show you how you can do that later. But let me show you where we got the idea for Cutco. So what we find, Mrs. Banks, is that most people have the world's most expensive set of knives. And it looks just like that right there. And the reason for that is the average knife set designed is only designed to last two years. So most mm -hmm. people actually waste a ton of money replacing cheap knives over and over. I mean, you probably know this better than I do, right? But cheap knives, like, they have a lot of problems. So there's mm -hmm. two types of handles, wooden handled knives that are attractive and new, but they're like really unsanitary. Um, they absorb liquids, bacteria, grease, and germs and retain odors. In fact, in several states, restaurants don't even use wooden handles because of the sanitation concerns. Mm -hmm. Now, plastic handles, right, like your normal plastic handles are usually cheaply constructed. So they melt, chip, crack, and break, and they're slippery when wet, which is extremely dangerous while you're cutting. Um, do you know what kind of knives you use right now? Yeah. Um... What are the name? I forgot the name of them. Um, <laughs> what do you usually like? If you go shopping for like house stuff, kitchen stuff, where do you usually go? Well, there most of the knives and stuff I have are from my husband had. So okay, I don't. I don't gotcha. I, yeah. You don't really but, remember because the, the main thing that I use that I like in the kitchen is I like that the peeler. I use it mm -hmm. to peel potatoes and stuff. Awesome. And the um, what do you call that thing? Um, like a, a cleaver. Oh, and a cleaver. Okay, very, very cool. And also, you know, I forgot to ask earlier, do you have something to take some notes on by any chance? I may have you write down a couple of things here a little bit later. Do you have anything nearby or even like a your phone even you could use if you needed to? Well, yeah, wait, hold on. I'm in my, I'm in my yeah. garage and I can't <laughs> gotcha. see it. I don't have a lot of these like pens and papers floating around in the garage. Not a problem. Let me no, know. My, my, my garage is pretty set up, but I have, I have a notebook somewhere on here. Okay, perfect. You're just good to go in there, aren't you? Oh yeah. See, look. Wait, hold on. See this? See my my, fr my freezer, my yeah, refrigerator, my TV. The big freezer. You got the extra fridge. That laundry right there too. Uh uh. Oh, that's that's see my that's my TV. That's a TV yeah. in there. That's TV microwave. Oh my yeah, I have a side by side refrigerator in here. I have a freezer. Did someone live back there or what? No, a small refrigerator, microwave, and a big TV. I like to sit out here a lot in the summertime. You know? That makes sense. A little cooler. It's kind of, just, you know, let the day go by. It's beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. It's been a lot sunnier lately, which is really nice as well. I know. Has it been super rainy over there also? Uh, no, it was. And the last two days has been nice, but I heard it's supposed to go away. So, okay. I've been not with that. Okay, perfect. Great, great. Because I know it has been. Um, ridiculously raining over here for the last couple of days today was really nice and pretty um but the last like week or so was just so much rain i'm gonna really go get i'm gonna get something to write on i don't like to okay. use my phone. no worries I just want to. All right. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, I know we're talking a little bit about common knives. So, common knives are also constructed very poorly. Most knives have a partial tang uh, with less steel, making them weak and unbalanced. They break easily. Are you familiar with like the tang of a knife? The what? 
the tang of a knife. Tang, C A N G, not not like the like the orange orangutan powder drink. So the tang oh, no. steel goes in the handle. So I can you you can see my mouse here, right? Uh huh. My mouse floating around. Do you see how like this knife right here? It has like the normal blade, and right here it gets really thin and it kind of like stops. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's called the tang of the knife. What you want is for the blade to go all the way through. So it kind of gives you like, an extra reinforcement, especially with something like like a cleaver, let's say, right? Um, and so like this knife right here, because it has such a, a little amount of steel in the back there, it's much more likely to break under extra pressure or, or, or force, right? So a lot of companies will put less steel in the handle because it's a little cheaper to make and it's also more likely to break. And then most rivets, which are the little pieces of metal that hold the actual blade together, those are often made of brass, which is a soft metal. So it expands, contracts, and loosens, creating unsanitary gaps. And then there are two types of steel. The first type of steel is called carbon steel. Are you familiar with carbon steel? Do you have any carbon steel products? I don't know what that is. Not, I probably know what problem. it is. I just... So carbon steel is this knife over here. As you can see, it kind of has like a little bit like a, uh, like maybe a discoloration no, no. going on. No, it. I don't have those. Okay, so people that love cooking oftentimes have carbon steel because it's really strong. But it rusts and corrodes, it's, which is unattractive and unsanitary. It needs a lot of they care. Eat, but you eat and rust. Exactly. Right? I always tell a lot of people, you know, they always want to add more iron to their diet, but I'd never recommend eating rust to do it, you know? Uh, and then stainless steel looks good, but it's really soft metal. So it won't stay sharp. It's pretty difficult to sharpen. Like, have some of your knives gone dull over the years, Mrs. Banks? Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely. So we find that, you know, can be a problem. Now, there are two types of edges. The first one, of course, is serrated edges, right, which rip and tear the ones with the little teeth on them. Um, right. so they rip and tear your food and cannot be resharpened. While straight edges, they give you those nice clean cuts, but they'd be sharpened pretty consistently to remain, to remain effective. Mm -hmm. And so it's actually the hard cutting surface that dulls a knife, not the food. And both of these edges directly contact the cutting board, dulling them quickly. And a dull knife is much more dangerous than a sharp one because you have to push harder. So let me show you a cut coat that actually solved all of these problems. So now you should be seeing a, a piece of Cutco here in the middle. Yeah, it says features and benefits at the top. Oh, I like that. Great, yeah. So there are actually five features that make Cutco the world's finest set of cutlery. So the first feature is our universal wedge lock handle, which actually fits any size hand. The universal design locks your hand into place, increasing control and safety while reducing fatigue. Our handle has actually been featured in the American Museum of Modern Art just for handle design uh, because of how mm -hmm. comfortable it is. And some doctors even recommend it for people with arthritis in their hands. So it does make Cutco more expensive, but it's a lot, it's definitely worth it because it's comfortable and safe and easier to hold than most handles. And the second feature is our thermal resin handle, which will never chip or crack. So have you ever heard of thermal resin before? No. So you went, you've gone bowling before, right? Yes. Yeah, and so thermal resin is not the same as like what bowling ball is made out of, but it's very similar. So it's really, really tough plastic. So it's really expensive material to use, but it makes Cutco worth it because it's dishwasher safe and it's super mm -hmm. sanitary because it's completely non-porous. And the third feature is our full tank construction. So our blade actually goes through the entire handle. You'll, get, you'll be able oh, to see okay. in a of the videos here today. So using that extra steel, of course, is more expensive, but it's worth it because it creates a lot of strength and balance. And then we use nickel silver rivets, which are flush with the handle, making it strong and sanitary. And nickel mm -hmm. silver, if you're not familiar, um, is actually the same metal that a lot of jewelers use to hold the diamonds onto rings. Uh, so it's a really strong metal that allows it to not move around a lot. And then the fourth feature we have, of course, is our very high grade steel. So we use a 440A surgical grade high carbon stainless steel. And if you're not familiar with steels, don't worry about it. What it basically means is that this steel is expensive to use, but it's worth it because it's the best of both worlds. We had high mm -hmm. carbon for that edge retention, making it nice and strong, we had stainless for beauty, making it sanitary and sharp. And the fifth feature is our most famous. It's our exclusive Stay Sharp Double D Edge, which means double durable. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little video here. It's gonna compare how the different types of edges work so you can kind of get a feel for how our Double D Edge performs. This is actually a rope cutting demo. We cut rope that's tough and fibrous like a vegetable or meat. So as you can see, that's just a normal serrated blade, not cut cut, just a normal blade. You can kind of hear the tearing going on there, yeah? Yeah, so like, you ever like, cut a piece of bread with a bread knife and you get crumbs everywhere? Mm -hmm. That's usually kind of how like serrated blades work if they haven't been sharpened properly or if they're dulling out. Now this is just a normal straight blade. It's actually a Henkel's knife if you're familiar with Henkel's at all. So as you can hear, right, a lot less of that tearing going on. 
much cleaner cut, right? But you kind of, kind of take a couple extra strokes there. And then this last one, this is actually a Cutco blade right there. That's called our Cutco Petite Carver with the double D edge on it right there. And watch you see, start at the back, go so one time through, all done. One see that? One cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right one cut makes a nice clean cut as well. So it kind of has the effectiveness of that serrated blade, right? But the cut mm -hmm. of the straight blade. And so the reason for that is unlike a serrated edge, Cutco's double D edge has three straight edges that are smoothly cut forward, backwards, and straight down. So you see those there's little teeth on the blade there, right? Mm -hmm. So the teeth themselves are actually dull, and it's the, the little grooves on the inside that are sharp. So the teeth just kind of protect the blade from cut, oh, dulling okay. on the cutting board. Yeah, so the points protect their cess edges from dulling on the cutting board, keeping each knife sharp for up to 10 years, and they can still be resharpened. And so while most of our knives do have the double D edge for cutting back and forth, we do have some Cutco knives for, with straight edges for chopping, dicing, and precision cutting. This unique edge uses expensive technology, but of course it's well worth it. And so the best thing about Cutco though, is our four part forever guarantee. And this is really while I'm, while I'm still here, like I, I love showing this product mainly because of our guarantee. Um, Cutco, like I mentioned, is one of the only products that you can buy once, use every day and never have to replace. The product is actually a proof of purchase and you can pass it down from generation to generation. Like I actually have a piece of Cutco myself, it's from one of my customers and it was his grandmother's. And we actually wow. traded, yeah, and, he, and she's had it since like the late sixties. Uh, mm -hmm. She got that set of that, you know, that Cutco. And so now I have like a piece of Cutco from like 68 or something. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So there's four parts. The first part's called a forever performance guarantee. If anything ever goes wrong with your Cutco, you just send it back to the factory and the company will fix or replace it for free. You will never have to pay to replace your knives. The second thing is what's called a forever sharpness guarantee. So whenever your Cutco is sharpening, you can actually just send it back to the factory and be sharpened for free. All you have to pay for would be the shipping, or you can also have a rep come to your home and do it for free. So like if you ever <laughs> wanted to find an excuse to get me on the Inland Empire, you could just have me come sharpen your knives. I could do that for you too, okay? Uh, and the third part, the third part's called unconventional use. So if you or like, you know, someone in your house ever happens to destroy your cut kill through unconventional use, we mean like destroy it, like run it over, put it in a paper shredder, like use it to chop up bricks, which I, I'm assuming you probably wouldn't do that with your knives. But if you right. did decide to do that, you can still get a place for half price, which is pretty cool. Uh, the fourth parts are unconditional return policies. So we actually have a 15 day risk-free money back guarantee. So if you're not mm -hmm. satisfied for any reason at all, you can actually get a full refund, right? And Cutco is such a great investment because you'll never have to buy another set ever again. And so check out this quick little video. This is a quick little just testimonial video that you know, was taken uh, at the Del Mar Fair in San Diego about, I want to say about eight years ago now. And it's just some people talking about their Cutco. best knives and all the other knives I bought don't compare. You know, if you need a good knife in your kitchen, get a set go. It's the best, the best investment I ever made, yeah. I've had my Cutco for 25 years. We've had our Cutco more than 20 years. It's almost 40 years. 50 years? At least 50 years. It is awesome. It's awesome. I like the grip of the handles and just the way all the knives cut. They're great knives, and they last forever. And of course, there's always the availability to have them sharpened again, so it was... Of course it was. It was definitely worth an investment in Cutco. I would definitely recommend it to our friends. Um, we recommended it to our son and daughter-in-law, and they bought some. I would recommend Cutco to anybody that has to cut anything. My girlfriend, 25 years ago, her son started selling Cutco. She called me up and asked me to give her son a break because he had gotten a new job. And I said, sure, I don't mind. He came to my house and he displayed all the different knives. No hesitation. Years ago, my brother and sister-in-law, they knew somebody that was selling it. And he was a college student and he came to our home and did the demonstration and that's when we first got the knives. One of my, friend, one of my son's friends was selling it in high school. Over. And he came over and sold it, and I wanted to help him out, not knowing that Cutco was going to be a wonderful product, and it is. Cool. All right, and of course, you can't beat American Made and Forever Guaranteed. Um, so, 
what I'm going to do now, of course, you know, we find that you can buy individual pieces, but most of our customers agree that over a lifetime, right, sets their course a much better value. Now, as you probably know, it's important to have the right tool for the right situation because of safety and efficiency, right? Just like someone needs to have the right golf club for the right distance or the right mm-hmm. pair of shoes to the right night out, you know, we find it's important to have the right tool for the right job. So that's why we have sets. Now, we do have two larger set options in this for customers who love to cook. They're called our complete and our family set. But I'm going to start with the tools in our basic set. It's basically all the essentials. It's, it's our most popular. It's called the Homemaker Plus 8. It has the minimum number of tools to do 100% of the jobs in your kitchen as efficiently as possible. And it's the best value for the average family. So it starts with your paring knife. And so that's this one right here. Are you familiar with paring knives? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, so we call this our air knife. It has a nice long handle which makes peeling and paring comfortable. You'll use it for small jobs in the air, right? For things like peeling a mango, as you can see there, or a kiwi, right? Um, or you can either take the tops off a strawberry or a banana. Uh, maybe coring a pepper or something like that. Um, do, you, do you like peel fruit sometimes once in a while in your hand? Do you like to cut a lot of food in your hand sometimes? Well, like I do potatoes. You do potatoes in my hand? Yeah, absolutely. My Actually, I did a demo when I was newer with my 10th grade English teacher. And when I showed her that our paring knife, the, the handle, what's cool about it is the handle actually goes through your entire hand. She mm-hmm. absolutely just like freaked out. She got so excited because, you know, I know most paring knives have a really small handle. So mm-hmm. it's great. It like fit all the way in her hands, and she loved that. So definitely, it's a big selling point for it. But you know, you'd rarely use it on the cutting board, so that's why you have your trimmer. And this is your small utility knife. Um, it's kind mm-hmm. of good for everything the size of your fist. So like, you you cut tomatoes sometimes. Yes. You ever cut a tomato got like instant salsa where you cut it and it just goes <laughs> and just shoots everywhere? Oh yeah. That is the worst, isn't it? Okay. So mm-hmm. what's cool about it? It was with the trimmer like that never happens. Check this out. So watch this little video right here. This is one of my favorites. This is our most popular knife for the last 71 years. As you can see, like it just glides right through tomatoes. It's such beautiful, clean cuts. Look how thin that is. If you ever like, <laughs> you ever cut a tomato and you end up with this like really weirdly thick piece of tomato in your sandwich? Yeah, I, I couldn't stand. I didn't like tomatoes at all as a kid. So uh, I love that you can make like really nice, clean cuts with it. Um, it's also great, of course, for like sectioning fruits. It actually got its name Trimmer from because it's, it's good for like trimming fat off of meat as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, you use it for lemons, limes. As you can see, that handle there is white. I don't know if you noticed that. Yes. Uh, that handle there, that's called our pearl handle. The other one you saw earlier is called our classic handle. Which handle color did you like better? I, I, I don't, I like the, the black one. You like the right, yeah, it's the it's most popular. It's called our classic for a reason. So that makes sense. Yeah. Now, everyone loves the versatility of the trimmer. Like, people use it pretty much every single day. Most of my customers have two or three of them because they use it so often. But it's never used for spreading or serving. So that's why you have this guy right here. It's called your spatula spreader. And I mm-hmm. love this thing. Oh, my gosh. So I'm going to play the video for you. But this is, this is one of my favorites for sure in the set. Like, I, there's a couple that I really appreciate. But this one right here is amazing. No, like, you really don't find it with other knife companies. I actually have six of these. So you can see, you can use oh. the spread, like cream cheese, right? And then you can use it to cut as well, because it has that double D edge on it. So the wide, flexible double D edge allows you to actually cut the bread and serve. You can use it for like sandwiches, bagels. Look at that. You can use it to, to serve brownies. Now, I have never put cream cheese on a brownie, personally. That seems like a lot of sugar. Um, but I think it's cool that you could do it all with one tool, right? Mm-hmm. It's also great for, I don't, do you ever make PB&Js? Yes. Oh my gosh. So if you ever use a butter knife or a spoon to get to use like the butter bread butter dough. So if you ever like, trying to like balance all the jelly on your butter knife and just spilt it everywhere. Yeah. It never happens to this guy as you can see. Look at that. Like one cut. Now I don't know if I would put the peanut butter and jelly with the same side, but as you can see, you can cut into triangles. It's also great. Do you eat avocado? Yes. I love, I love avocado. that thing for avocado. So the cool part about it has the blade on one side, so you can actually like cut around the seed. And then oh, use the plated okay. part to cut in the seed, then use the back side, which is not sharp, to like scoop it out. It works perfectly. It's awesome. But of course, you wouldn't use it for like a meat or a large vegetable. That'd be kind of weird. Um, mm-hmm. So that's why you have your petite carver and then your turning fork comes along with it. So the first thing I'll show you here is the petite carver. It's kind of like the big brother of the trimmer. Uh, it's a little bit of a larger version of the trimmer. It's kind of your everyday knife. Um, it's mm-hmm. super versatile, which is great. So I use it for like your everyday meats. Chicken, small roast, pineapple. Look how it just glides with that pineapple. You ever cut a pineapple before? Mm-hmm. Not easy. Anyone cut a pineapple that easy? Yeah. 
Look, look at that. It's, it's one of my favorite demos to do. It's also great, as you can see, for, like, cantaloupes. It's good for all your everyday fruits, like your larger summer fruits. Cantaloupe, uh, mm -hmm. honeydew, pineapple. And it's also really, really good for things like, you know, you can use for top of vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, and all your everyday fruits. So what do you what do you tend to cook a lot? I know you said you're doing a lot more cooking lately. Like, what are some of your your staple foods you cook a lot? Um, I cook a lot. I don't know different things. I I make a lot of soul food. I cook okay. a lot of Mexican food. Um, yeah. So you find yourself doing a lot of like slicing of like meats or like like chopping up vegetables a whole lot of. Well, when I do um, when I do what did I, what did I make the other day? oh when I do tacos of course I. I chop up my tomatoes and my olive, I mean, my um, avocado. Okay. And um, I think that one of those knives would be good to chop up the lettuce because I usually buy shredded lettuce already. 100%. Well, I'll show you one a little bit here, a little bit later, but it's great for lettuce. Uh, that has a great length for that. Yeah. So and I do Perfect. like chicken. I do fish. Okay, um, cool. So you do a little bit of everything. Mm hmm Cool. Is there anything that's just not in the diet at all? Like you're just like, we don't ever do this. I don't eat a lot of beef. Okay, cool. Not a lot of beef. Not a problem. Perfect. And then I know you didn't get to see it too long, but the, the other one you saw in there was the turning fork, that little fork there, which is great. Like, yes. do you ever do like pickles or olives at all? Mm hmm. You do pickles? Yeah. Mm hmm. You know, yes. there's like that last pickle at the bottom of the jar and like, yes, you just trying not to get, get it, it out. Oh my gosh. You like put your arm in there, it smells like pickles for a day. Yeah, I get that. So we, we know about that. So instead of having to do that, that's why we have the turning fork, which is great for. Uh, like, you know, getting things out of jars. It's also good if you ever like fry pork chops. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love the turning fork for frying pork chops because you can actually use it in any kind of pan because it's great because it has three sharp tines that are pointed outwards. So you can kind of poke it in there and then flip it over and it just comes out. Oh, okay. very easy. So I love it for that for sure. But none of the things we've used so far we use for like your larger foods. So that's why you have your butcher knife. I like to call this one the mini machete. As you can see, it's got a, quite a like a menacing little look to it, right? Kind of looks like Aladdin's knife. You're, you've seen Aladdin, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you know, like that yep. big scimitar he has? I like to call this one Aladdin's knife, which is kind of fun. Um, and so this is our heavy duty knife. This one's used for disjointing large meats. Uh, it's also great for like melons and squash. So if you do watermelons during the summer, um, or if you do, do you do like a butternut squash? Or maybe like a. Mm, don't like squash. squash and stuff? Not a big squash fan? Sure, no, no. <laughs> Definitely yeah. not, no worries. So this is great as you can see like for watermelons as well. Um, do you ever find yourself like cutting chicken bones, turkey bones, anything like that? Mm -hmm. As you can see, this one is really reinforced. So it actually has a very, very thick, thick blade, heavier handle. It's really good for cutting through all like your tougher foods. Um, it's really designed to protect all the other knives. It does most of the things you wouldn't want to use your nice knives for, which is kind of mm -hmm. the fun part about it. It's really made to like hit the cutting board. But it's not used for chopping. It's, it's not only designed to rock, so that's why you have your petite chef knife and everyone needs a good chef knife in the house. As you probably know, like everyone needs something they can mm -hmm. chop with. Oh yeah. Exactly. So this one's really important. It kind of goes along with the butcher knife because it does all of your delicate chopping. You know, most people think the chef knife is kind of used for everything and then they end up dulling their chef knife too quick because they try to use it on like meats, things like that. So just so, just so you know, you know, if, if you get a chef knife today, you got to promise me you, you are not going to use it on meats or like sawing things back and forth. It just ends up dulling the blade. Uh, so oh, it's really yeah. important. People use it for like vegetables. Like I love using it for onions. I use mine literally every day um, because when you keep it, you know, working correctly, it stays sharp for like three years without ever needing a sharpening. And it just goes right through your vegetables. I don't know if you ever tried cutting up like, you know, like chopping up some vegetables and you, you don't get all the way through. So you end up having like yeah, weak especially cutting. celery. Oh my, exactly, right? So I love having like a nice sharp one that just glides right through everything, makes your life easy. So you're gonna use it for your six S's, soup, salad, stir fry, stew, stuffing, sauce, and stuff like that, right? But of course, chef knives are for chopping, not for slicing. So the rule of thumb, believe it or not, with knives is anything that has teeth on it, you wanna go back and forth with. And anything that has a straight edge, you wanna make straight cuts, right? So like cutting straight down, cutting straight across, you don't wanna go, you don't wanna slice, it ends up dulling the blade. So that's why we named our slicing knife. As you can imagine, we gave it a really creative name. We named our slicing knife, the slicer. <laughs> so this is our slicer. It's actually the best bread knife in the world. Um, and oh, I clicked, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Uh -oh, where am I? I think I went back. on the slicer. I saw the yeah. slicer. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I ended up going back a couple of slides and accident. Okay, right there, perfect. So it's the best bread knife in the world. 
So do you do you cut like French bread sometimes, or like loaves of different baked bread? No, not a big person for that. Not a problem. I'm not a, I'm not a bread person. Not a person. This is also great for like cakes if you have cakes that you do, you know, for like holidays, birthdays, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I use mine personally a lot more for shredding lettuce and cabbage, actually. Mm -hmm. So if you ever take a whole head of lettuce or cabbage, it's great oh, okay. it's rounded. It starts rounded in the front and then it has um, a nice long edge. So you can really take it over a whole head of lettuce or cabbage and kind of go chop, 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 turn it, chop, 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 and it's shredded easily. Which is beautiful about it. So it saves you some money on having to buy it pre-shredded. It's also mm -hmm. good for like slicing boneless meat. Do you do like a ham during like Thanksgiving, Easter. Yeah. Yep. So this is great for ham because one of the things with hams is if you have like a pointed end, a lot of times it ends up getting caught in there or you get really uneven cuts. What's nice, this one is so long that it allows you to kind of just go right through it in one stroke, which makes it pretty easy. But it's not for anything with a bone. It has a little bit of a smaller double D edge. So that's why you have your master carving set here. Oh, not again. There we go. This is your master carving set. So we'd like to call it your spare tire because you probably won't use it every day but you'd be glad you have it, right? You'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So do you ever barbecue mm -hmm. or host family dinners? Mm -hmm. okay, yes. Right. So this, is, this is the one, right? It's good for your barbecue, 4th of July, big tri-tip brisket. It's also good for big roast family occasions, right? That's Thanksgiving turkey. Who usually hosts Thanksgiving? I used to, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna be doing now. It kind of starts shifting around, kind of something like that. Mm -hmm. What's pretty funny is like in my family, no matter what happens, I end up having to bring the knives for Thanksgiving because they know like I'm the one with the I'm the knife guy basically. <laughs> um, and so this right here, this is the go-to for sure because it you know it's nice about it. it keeps the knife and sharp. Has it's actually designed to be able to cut through meats and give you like very even cuts, which is really nice. And so both forks in this set are important. The turning fork actually picks foods up, as you saw, and then this carving <laughs> fork here holds food down. And together they can actually hold up to 200 pounds of force, which I'm sure you're oh. not making a 200 pound turkey, but if you wanted to. You cut, which is really nice. So can you see how over a lifetime you'd use every tool in your basic set? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now to complete the set, these are your table knives and they're used for every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The wide blade and rounded tip makes them safer. So you don't worry about anyone poking themselves, but with the double D edge, they cut just like a steak knife. We actually recommend two table knives per family member. So you don't have to wash them after every meal. Um, and so I'll show you kind of, here's a cool little video where we test it out on some tough leather. Now, obviously, people don't eat leather, but it just allows us to kind of like mimic cut, cut, cutting like tougher meat. Have you ever been at the dinner table? Someone's trying to cut their meat in like a shaky table. Yes. <laughs> so we call that the earthquake effect. And what we like to say is the table knife completely eliminate that. Watch this. That's just a normal steak knife, right? Kind of takes a little work. With the table knife, like this is gonna blow you away. This is one of my favorites. This is actually the first knife I cut myself on. Look at that. Looks like a butter knife cut just like a steak knife, though. So it goes right through wow. one stroke. And then what's cool about it is you can see this one. This shows you the ability to go straight down, right? So you can see it's going to be back and forth cutting. And here it's ripping up again. You see the uneven cut. And then check this out. Boom. And... Right, so I love that. It's one of my favorite demos to do if I do a demo in person as well, uh, which is awesome. Just people, just, their minds are blown. And if, if for customers who do like the feel of a larger like steak knife, we do have a restaurant style steak knife, which is a little bit larger. We call it our large table knife as well. And our two largest options do have that option. But of course, you know, Mrs. Banks, it would be dangerous to have really sharp, high quality knives just floating around in a drawer. So that's why we do, our sets do have block options. And our most popular option is our solid oak wood block, which looks great on the counter. And we do also have storage safe trays to storage in a drawer or on the wall if you're like a little bit more picky about your uh, your counter space. And our sets all come with a free cutting board. It's important to use a soft plastic cutting board because glass, granite, and marble cutting boards are too hard and they end up dulling your knives out, which is really important. So ours are made of polypropylene. They actually absorb the impact and they're all forever guaranteed as well. And then to complement your homemaker set, we do have incredible kitchen tools and gadgets. So this five piece dishwasher safe kitchen tool set here replaces a drawer full of old kitchen tools. And then our four piece entertainer pack has comfort group handles and is of course forever guaranteed. All right, but let me go and review with you why so many people choose to invest in Cutco. With Cutco, you always have sharp American made knives that are comfortable, safe, and sanitary. And Cutco, as I mentioned, is guaranteed to last forever to be the last set of knives you'd ever buy. And Cutco saves a lot of money. Most people who buy Cutco eat out less. So if that saves sixty dollars a month, right? In a year, it's seven hundred twenty dollars, and over twenty-five years, I mean that's eighteen thousand dollars 
save, which is pretty cool. Now, there are several reasons why so many of our customers choose sets, right? Cutco sets have the right tool for the right job. Cutco sets have a built-in discount. So they're actually less expensive as well. They have a bundle discount. Our sets all come with a free cutting board and other free stuff. And they're much safer because they come in a block or tray. And we also have interest-free, as I mentioned, monthly investment options. You don't have to pay for all at once. Now, when it comes to high-quality cutlery, it's like anything else. There's a wide variety of quality and prices. And Cutco is top-rated, so we'll compare to the highest quality brands. So are you familiar with, like, higher-quality cutlery at all? Mm -hmm. Cool. Do you ever shop, like, Williams Sonoma or, like, Crate and Barrel, Sir Top, any of those places? Uh, no. Not too much? Not too often? Not a problem. But you're familiar with the stores, right? Yes. Um, what was that other one? I think so I have a price comparison actually here on our slides for our two top competitors. They're called Wustoff and Shun. Have you ever heard of those two before? Mm -mm. No, that's okay. So this price comparison is right off WilliamCinema.com. Uh, these two sets are actually made overseas and they're two of the top selling brands in stores. Uh, Wustoff's made in Germany and Shun's made in Japan. Uh, each brand has different types of sets, which do range in price. But Wusoff right here, uh, Wusoff is actually the top-selling American, or excuse me, the top-selling brand of kitchen cutlery um, in North America, and in stores at least. We're obviously the number one um, overall on high quality, but in stores, Wusoff's the number one. And so this 20-piece Wusoff set you can see right here, the price of that set is 34.35. But sometimes you can find it on sale. And it comes down to $2,000, which is a pretty crazy price. It's actually a really, really good price for that set. And honestly, like if Cutco didn't exist, I'd probably use this Wustoff set here. It's a really good brand. Mm -hmm. But there are some major differences, though, between these brands and Cutco. Like, for example, Wustoff is mostly straight edges. So you need to be sharp in which is a hassle. They're not recommended for the dishwasher and the warranties on manufacturing defects only. In comparison, Cutco does have our unique wedge lock handle, exclusive <laughs> double D station. Oh, what was that? Oh, I'm listening. Oh, no worries. Yeah, I was saying, uh, Cutco has our unique wedge lock handle, exclusive double D stay sharp edge, and we have our four part forever guarantee, which includes our free sharpening. Now, Cutco owners tell you that their knives are 10 times better than any knives they've ever used. And just considering the guarantee and unique features, most people agree that Cutco is at least twice as good as Wustoff is. And with something offers twice the quality and value and lasts forever, I mean, you expect to be at least twice the price, right? So at twice the mm -hmm. price, talking over $4,000 for a set of Cutco, all right? So with that, let me go ahead and show you our most popular set, right? So we, like I said, we do have two larger sets than the Homemaker set. They're called our Complete and our Family set. And if you feel like you need something more, just let me know. I can definitely show you some of those things. But our most popular set is our Homemaker Plus 8. It's perfect family cook two to four times a week. It has the 10 basic tools I explained earlier, A to one ounce the wood block, and a uh, sharpener for straight edges. Mm -hmm. Now, the great thing is that the set doesn't cost $4,000, believe it or not. Okay. In fact, it's not even as much as Wusaw's price of $34.35. So now you said you have something to take some notes on, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So go ahead and write this down for me. So write down Homemaker plus eight set. Wait, let me get it. I need a book. Okay. I got a paper. Okay. What homemaker? What? So homemaker plus eight. Or you can just write basic set if you want. That's this our basic set. You can just write basic set. That works as well. Okay. So check out. You ready for this price? So it's not four thousand. Not even thirty four hundred. So our basic set or our homemaker plus eight set is only thirteen twenty six paid in full. Okay. So thirteen twenty six paid in full, which it includes the shipping, but most of our customers take advantage of our five-month interest-free investment options. There's no credit checks, no financing, anything like that. Just allows you to try it out, which is only two eighty-eight today, and that includes tax here in Orange County. And the great part about that is we have a bonus where, so if you got this today, I could actually throw in either one of those kitchen tool sets you see there, and the entire entertainer pack, which comes with our four gadgets, or a pair of our super shears. So which one of those do you think you'd be the most interested in? I don't know. If, you were to get the set, if you were to get the set, would you rather have the scissors there, the kitchen tools, or the entertainer pack, which has like our ice cream scoop, our pizza cutter, our peeler, and our cheese knife? What's in the, oh, you said this box here? Yeah, that yeah. box is called the entertainer pack. What's in there? 
So it has our ice cream scoop, which is awesome because it actually melts ice cream as it scoops. It has our peeler that I showed you earlier, it has our pizza cutter with a removable blade and our gadget cheese knife, which is good for like cheese, but also like things like potatoes, um, apples, anything kind of sticky starts your way. Mm, torn. <laughs> which, which, torn between which ones? Because I, like I like the peeler. That's what I like. You like that peeler? Okay, cool. So you like the peeler. What was the other thing that you like? Um, uh, well, I like the peeler and the knife. That's probably about it. Okay. Cool, cool. And uh, if you were to get a homemaker set, what color would your homemaker set be, you think? You said the classic, right? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, of course, you know, Mrs. Banks, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask you. Would you like to try out the homemaker set today and get a free gift? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a call. Cool. No worries. Well, if you don't mind me asking, what are you a little unsure of? What, what kind of as you like? I don't know. Because I don't know what the what my finance is going to be with this. Okay. Uh, until this thing is over. Gotcha. Gotcha. I, I definitely get that. Obviously, I know with everything going on right now, mm -hmm. um, with the money can definitely be you know a little like uncertain. Um, like I said, 1326 is a lot all at once. That's why most of our customers do split it up over five months, interest-free. Mm -hmm. um, and on that five-month plan, it's only 288 per month. So it's kind of like, you know, an extra grocery trip or something like that. Do you think that, that that's something that you'd be more interested in doing, like the five-way pay? I mean, if I was going to do it, I'd probably do it like that. But right now, groceries mm -hmm. got higher. Um, the, the supplies I get to my husband and got higher. Everybody's mm -hmm. raising their prices. Gotcha. <laughs> so it's just not good. Okay, gotcha. the thing no they're ignoring is gas. No worries. Gotcha, gotcha. Not a problem at all. Wait, if I could get you like a crazy deal on this set, is this like is this something that you could see yourself using this homemaker set? Yeah, sometime in the future, yeah. Okay, cool. Sometime in the future. Obviously the, the big difference would just be the price. Well, if I could like lower the price where it felt like it made sense within your budget, you know, didn't feel like it'd be breaking the bank, is that something you'd at least want to check out? Maybe, because I, I, I don't really want to add. I'm trying to pay off the debt. I don't want to add anymore. I got you. I got you. No worries. Not a problem. I understand. What is it cool if I just tempt you with, like, our craziest offer on the homemaker set? Huh? Is it cool if I just, like, go ahead and tempt you with our craziest offer? Oh, yeah. Offer you, uh, yeah. Set? You, okay. You can cool. go ahead. Perfect. Perfect. Well, like I said, normally it's 1326 right? Mm -hmm. so that's the normal price of it's 1326 What's pretty cool is we actually have a special going on. And like I said, we have our friends and family discount um, where instead of being 1326 I could actually do a savings of $232 so you can take $232 off of it so today if you want to go and write this down it would only come out to 1049 today 1049 in full or it would be 233 per month on that five-way easy pay so it'd be 233 today. That way you could try it all out, make sure you absolutely love it and want to keep it. Um, and of course, if not, you can send it back or you can even send back a piece or two if there's one, one or two that you're not that you know in love with. Um, and then you'd just be one time today and then four more payments of 233. Does that sound like something you'd be more interested in doing? Uh, I can't I can't swing 200 and something dollars a month. Cool. That's why I don't have a car payment. Like <laughs> Makes sense. Cool. Not a problem. Wait, with that, why don't I show you something a little smaller then? That you may be more comfortable getting paid, and maybe a little bit more in your price range. So not because I, I just can't. I mean, I like it, but I, um, I can't see myself paying. Not right now. I, sure, maybe things will look up later in I a few it. months or so. Cool. Not problem. Hey, let me show you this one for sure. Then because this one is actually one of my favorite. Most people don't even start off with a homemaker. Like I said, if that's something you want to build into later, we do have an option mm -hmm. where you can do that. But this one right here, this is a, this is an absolute awesome set right here. This is called our Galley Plus Six Set. It's a perfect starter set. It actually takes care of all your needs. So has a paring knife for the air, has a trimmer for small stuff, a spatula for sandwiches, has a meat knife, a serving piece, a veggie chopper, and a bread knife, and it still comes with six table knives. Um, and so it's basically the homemaker set, but it doesn't have the butcher knife in there, which I know you said you don't cook a lot of beef anyway, so you right. probably wouldn't see yourself doing a lot of heavy cutting. Is that right? Right. Cool. And then it doesn't have the, uh, the master carving set. And like you said, you don't even know who's hosting Thanksgiving anymore, so you probably wouldn't need like, you know, the large carving set right away does that seem pretty pretty accurate mm -hmm. perfect so it's a few less knives it's a whole lot less money as well so instead of 1326 for that homemaker set which is pretty cool our galley plus six set this set right here is actually only 957 in full so if you want to write that down the galley plus six is only 957 in full 
which is 213 per month for five months interest free. And with that one, uh, we could still throw in either the kitchen tool set or the entertainer. I know you for sure the peeler you like. Uh, so we could still throw in the peeler or one of our gifts as well. So does that seem like something you'd be more interested in getting today? It's still too <laughs> so too high. That that 213 is still too high, yeah? Cool. No worries. Not a problem. Wait, if I could get, is it cool if I just kind of show you like my best deal on this one? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Does this, does this set feel like, seem like it fit your, like fit at least your needs a little bit better as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So what's really cool about this one is I can actually take this one down from that 957 mark. Um, and I know you said 200 seems like a little high today on the five pay. So we can actually drop the price of this one pretty drastically. Instead of being 957, okay, it would come out to a $218 discount on this, okay, which is a 23% discount. Like I said, we're definitely hooking it up. Uh, and that comes up to 739 today, okay? Or which only, only 165 on that five way easy pay instead. Um, and I could still throw in the free peeler for you. Does that seem like something that'd be a little bit more maybe in your price range there? I have to think about it. I'm trying to pay off my credit cards. <laughs> so well, not a problem. And so I'll keep you to think about it. Yeah. It seems like it'd probably be a little bit more of the, of the price than the pieces. Is that right? Well, it's not so much the price. It's just that the fact that I'm, I'm, I set myself on a thing to pay off. I want to get rid of some of these credit cards. Gotcha. You know, it makes sense. Definitely. So I want to make sure you're being smart with the money. I completely understand yes. that. No worries. Um, and so obviously it sounds like the 165 is just a little high on the five pay today still. Yes. Cause I tell, then, you know, I don't have, I have no overtime. I have no, uh, right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Perfect. And just so I know, if you were, you know, if you were to get a set today, would you do it in full or on the five pay? Um, I mean, if, I mean, if I really, if I could afford it, I, I don't like, I don't like a lot of payments. For sure. That's why I try to pay off credit cards. Perfect. Wait, um, the reason we have our five pay, just so you know, is that, mm -hmm. you know, it's not so that people can split it up. Most people we find can buy in full anyway. It just allows you to try it out, especially on our virtual. Right. You can't actually like hold the product. What's cool about it is you can get the entire set, try it out, see if you like it actually, make sure you really want to have it forever. Uh, mm -hmm. And if there's like a knife or a couple of knives that you don't love, you can always send those back and get refunded for just those ones. And it just makes it easier to buy. Like we're not a finance company, right. so we don't check any credit. You know, there's no interest for doing it over time. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it just makes it really nice. So just want to make sure I let you keep that in mind for sure. And so you said okay. obviously the 165 there is still a little high. Is that right? I don't, I'm trying to, because I'm looking at that 165. I'm thinking that if I paid that 165 times five, I could pay off some credit cards. <laughs> I get that. I get that. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm, I'm getting them down. And they're, okay. and even the credit card companies are, are tempting because they're like, oh, well, you know, well, is, it, is it our credit limit? Because you haven't used this credit card. Oh, we'll raise it. Really? <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of you. Yeah, I get that. No, I get that. 100%. Uh, I get that. Not a problem. Hey, we do have uh, some of our smaller sets. They're called starter sets as well. Uh, before I get to that, though, real quick, um, of the pieces you see here, which one do you think like you just probably wouldn't you get a lot of use out of? Like, which one do you think you probably just wouldn't use? I think that um, the one that chops the, and slices the tomatoes. The trimmer? Is that the, the one that sliced the tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. That's the tomato slicing one we showed you earlier. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, they and get a lot of use out of that one. Yeah, and that, um, and the other, and is it that trimmer? Is that what it's called? The trimmer is yeah. That's the smaller one over here. That's this one. This is called yeah. the trimmer. So you feel like you wouldn't use that one? No, I think that, what now. Which one would cut um, like lettuce and all that? Yeah, let, so what I like for lettuce, if you're gonna just be chopping it up, you could use the petite chef. I that personally one, use yeah. the slicer here. For like uh -huh. shredding up lettuce and cabbage, this is what I use right here—the slicer. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I mean, of these uh, of these seven tools you see right here, which one do you think like you probably just wouldn't get a whole lot of use out of? Um, probably the fork. Probably the fork. No, okay. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard because all you know those all seem to work. Okay. Um, so I wouldn't know right now. Okay, got you. They all seem to work. So I mean. Sounds like you like this set for sure. Then this seems like yeah. something you'd like, yeah. Um, if, I mean, if I could, if I could do it even maybe lower, um, where I could maybe try to get that five pay down a little bit lower, would that be something you'd be interested in at least checking out? 
I don't know. I have to, I'd have to, I, I don't make uh, quick decisions. I couldn't tell you today. I'd have to pray about it and think about it. And For sure. See how my, my budget goes because I have three vehicles I have to maintain. Right. Definitely. I completely understand. No, I, I mean, I get that. Like I said, um, you know, the money, of course, is a lot of money to be impulsive about, especially on kitchen stuff, for sure. You know, that's why we do have that 15-day trial to, like, really try it out, make sure you absolutely love it and want to keep it. And if you don't like it at all, like, we even have a program, like, where I hold, I hold, it's called my Box Party Program. So if you don't love it at all, I'll definitely come, I'll drive out there, help you send mm -hmm. it back just because I, I, I made you get it in the first place. So not a problem at all. Uh, now, would you use, you use the table knives, you feel like, yeah, or do you feel like the table knives are maybe just a little extra? Uh, probably not I don't know I don't eat. it's just me so okay gotcha cool because we do have a, we do have this set without the table knives um so we have what's called our basic galley set it's this exact set just without any table knives um if I could show you like a really crazy deal on the set like the seven knives in the block without the table knives would you you know consider getting it today I don't know depend I'm uh, I don't know I can't I don't I make promises <laughs> for sure well like, would you at least you know let me tempt yeah, you with it you, see something you, you want to look at okay cool yeah. let me take a look at it let me just see what we could do on that set so i'm gonna go ahead and take a look here and i'll, I'll do some math here real quick now give me a couple seconds um okay. i promise i'm not terrible at math i took three years of calculus it's just sometimes addition can be kind of hard um so <laughs> give me one second i'm gonna oh, pop sorry. this in here and see if i can uh get you a crazy deal on this one for sure Okay, so let's see. It's that has a paring knife in it, and then it has um, a trimmer. It has a spatula spreader. Okay, it has a teeth carver. It has the turning fork. Perfect. A petite chef knife. Um, and it has a slicer in it. Okay, and then it all comes in the block, which let me see what the block looks like. Okay, and it comes with a cutting board. And then I know your favorite thing for sure was the peeler as well, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So let's see. And so normally, we uh, the price I just told you right there was $739, right? Okay, I think I can get this in a spot where you'd really, really like this. Let me take a look. Okay. Um, okay. Perfect. So what I'm looking at right now Here's what I have. So total, this is $875 worth of product, right? Now I'm looking at $251 off on that. So I'm looking today for that galley set that you see there, just about the table knives at the bottom. So the block, the seven knives and the cutting board. Uh, what are the price I'm looking at right here is 624. <laughs> Was that? I already did the math. <clears throat> 624, and then if you wanna try it out, over that five way easy page, just to make sure you like it, you want to keep it, see if it's a good fit for you, something you actually get a lot of use out of. Um, it only be one thirty seven today. Over the five months. Does that, sound, does that seem like something you'd be more interested in doing today? Oh, that's pushing it. And I um. That's I pushing know. a little high. Does that, does that feel like a little something a little bit closer on the five page? It feels like at least it's like, okay, maybe we're like just there, like not necessarily at the spot. We're getting pretty close. Yeah, you're getting close. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, let me see. Well, let me see. Well, let me just play around with it. I don't know if I can do anything too much more, but let me play around with it and see if there's anything else I could possibly do where maybe I can try to get it lower. So the price I just gave you is 624, right? Okay, so I'm definitely giving you the maximum friends and family discount here then. I'm giving you that big family discount here for sure. Um, if I play around with these numbers a little bit more. Um, but let's see. Okay. So we had 624 a second ago, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. Is it possible for me to do... 
Okay, we did that, and then we did maybe this instead. Well, I don't even know if that'll go through. Is that go through? Okay, it goes through. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at. Um, I have instead of 875, instead of the 739, instead of the 624, I'm looking at 580. Okay, for the seven knives, the block, the cutting board, and there's actually a peeler in there as well. So I know you like the peeler a lot. Um, so I'm looking at 580, which on that five-way easy pay would only be 127 today instead. How's that? You are determined, aren't you? <laughs> hey, like I said, I, I told you I'd show you the absolute best deals I possibly can. Just want to make sure, you know, if you leave here, I show you the everything I possibly can do. Oops. How many total knives is that? Yeah, so it is uh, seven knives, and then it's the block and the cutting board and the peeler. So it's a total of 10 pieces. Oh, I know I'm just... Why, why? Let me think. That's for five months. What month is this? April, May, July, August, September. Oh, my crew. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it, but I have to really think about that. I don't want to make a right, quick decision. I have to, I have to think about it. No, you can still hear me, yes? Huh? Can you hear me? What? Can you, can you hear me? Just want to make sure you can hear me. Yeah, I said I have to think about this more. I mean, I, I it sounds good I, if I could do it, but I don't want to put myself in the strain. No. I don't know what, what's going to happen. Yeah, no worries. And I don't want you know I don't want you to get anything that you're not gonna like, not gonna use, uh, and you know, I don't want you to put yourself in a tough position over some kitchen color. Not a big deal. Um, how about let me show you some of our smaller sets. We do have some of smaller sets that have a couple more just like essential pieces, uh, and you know they're actually super affordable. So let me show you some of these ones here, uh, and then you just tell me which one you like the most. I'm gonna show you a couple options here. So this is called our essential set. Um, as you can see, it has these five tools here. So the paring knife, spatula, turning fork, petite carver, petite chef. So Basically, all the ones you just saw in that mm -hmm. last set. Um, so it'd be good for, you know, all of the peeling of the fruits. It has the spatula, which is like my favorite. Uh, that turning fork that you like, the petite carver, and the chef knife, which you can use for the lettuce and everything there. Uh, and then this one, this is our studio set. This is kind of all the, the everyday. So it has the parry knife, the trimmer, spatula, petite carver. So it's mm -hmm. kind of those two there. And then we have our space saver set, which is really good at saving space, obviously. It has both of our paring knives, has a smaller one and a larger one that you can use in the cutting board if you wanted to. Uh, a trimmer, so that everyday kind of utility knife. The petite carver and then the petite chef. And then we have our all knife and our kitchenette sets, which are in trays. And as you can see, these have a handful of tools as well. Uh, the all knife set there has the paring knife, oh trimmer, spatula, chef knife. Now, that one's definitely not yours. Uh, the kitchenette set, obviously little kitchen set, uh, is really good. has a lot of your everydays in the tray as well. Parry knife, trimmer, turning fork, petite carver. Actually, you may like that one a lot as well. It doesn't have a chef knife, but that's a really good one. It has a trimmer, the turning fork, if you like, uh, and then has a slicer for the lettuce as well. And then the gourmet set here kind of has all like your alternative tool stuff. Um, so like the boning knife, has like the large cleaver knife in it as well, which is like two pounds of steel. Uh, so that's our gourmet set. Now out of these combinations, which one do you think kind of caught your eye the most? From based on what I know about what you like, I'm thinking either the kitchenette set or maybe that uh, essential set that we saw a slide, oh, one slide back. Yeah, I think the, uh, this, this either one. essential or the studio, yeah. Either not, not the studio, okay, cool. Well, let me show you what the essential is first. And then you said you probably wouldn't use the table knives in, right? They're kind of just extra, you don't really need them a whole lot. Whole lot. Right. Okay, cool. So let me go and show you the price on that then. So our basic essential set, which is, the five knives you see there in the block and the cutting board without the table knives, it's just called a basic essential set. Um, that set comes out to 554 in full, which is 124 per month on the five way easy pay. And if you got that set today, I could still throw in either the shears or one of our, our gadgets for free. 
So that's that like seem like something that may fit a little better in the budget, may you feel more comfortable doing today? It's still one something a month though. I mean, I'm just I, I'm not I'm not see what you I'm not worried about the the big the price. I'm just worried about the because I can do anything over time, but it's just that I don't want to do the time right now because I don't know how things are gonna go. Prices right. going up, everything's going up for me. So makes sense. Cool. No worries. Like like I said, not a problem. Definitely take some take a look at some stuff here. Um, now, if I could show you a deal on this, and you sounds like, hey, if we the lower we get the five pages, the better for you. It sounds like, is that right? Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Let me take a look then, real quick. So this one has the paring knife, spatula, petite chef, the turning fork, um, the key carver, and then it has the cutting board in there, and then has a different block here. So what block was this one? This is called the essentials block. Okay. Item number 1649. Okay, and so obviously, as you said, the closer we can lower get that 5 pay, easier it is for sure. Oh, and it disrupted with the pay, so get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. This, this one here. Okay. Okay. Cool. And so right now we're looking at 554 where we started at. Okay. So I am looking at, a, this is a total of $661 in product. Okay. Uh, a $184 savings. So it comes out to 477 for the five tools, the cutting board, the block, and then a vegetable peeler. So I know you really like that one. And on the five months, it is 105 today. Oh Lord, you are something else. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I said, hey, just had to make sure I show you all the options for sure. How's that one feeling? Oh man. Uh, I mean, like I said before, it's not so much the the thing. It's just that I don't want to bite off more than I can chew right now. You have a comfortable pride. And again, yeah, I don't want, you know, like I said, if, if it fits in your budget and it makes sense then totally, I definitely feel like, you know, you'd love it. It, 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 it yeah. makes sense. It makes sense, but it just doesn't fit in my budget. Perfect. Not, a Not problem. right now. Not a problem. And so, you know, I'd like definitely want to make sure I can just find something that works best in your budget uh, and that works out best for you. So not a problem at all. Um, let me see if there's any more wiggle room with this. Now, I know that has the peeler attached in it. Let me see what happens if I take the peeler out. Um, I can find a different way to get you a peeler, obviously. Um, you know, being family, we can find a different way to get you, get you a peeler there. Um, let me see if there's anything else I can do to maybe try to get that. Just try to squeeze it under that hundred dollar today, Mark, just so you can try it out, see if it's a good fit. Um, let's see here. Okay, and that was this. Okay, we did that, and then this. Ooh, I don't even know if that, uh, that works. Does that work for me? Oh my gosh, it works. Okay. Here's what I'm looking at. So looking at the essential set now then, the five tools still, cutting board uh, and the block. Uh, and that would, instead of being any of the prices told you so far, that we got that all the way down to 40. Okay. So 440 and four, uh, 440, which is $97 on the five pay with the five tools block in the cutting board. As that time said. I mean, I like the set, but I'm, I'm still. Um... Wait, hold on. Turn on.
Hold on, I'm sending a text. They tell me to turn on sound. I'm not on Zoom yet. Yeah, no worries. And if she used them, I said, usually the past, because they, they, they don't know what they're doing. Zoom. <laughs> Whatever your next Zoom meeting is, you said? Yeah. I mean, they don't know what they're doing because she's telling me it's the passcode is LCM. No, it's not. Yeah, everyone's, got it. Yeah, everyone's adjusting to the new world of Zoom. I get that. Trust me, oh my gosh, all the people we have for our training seminars, all of our new people, they are just, uh, <laughs> yeah. They're just okay, um, is there a way that um, you could call me tomorrow and then I can let you know if I wanna do this and I can give you whatever information you need? Yeah, 100%, um, honestly, I would just be remiss if I didn't at least show you all your options. Uh, okay. tomorrow like I'm super duper busy and I hate to like try to play phone tag what I find most of the times is no I wrote I wrote it I wrote it down perfect no worries and what I find most times of course is when someone you know wants to you know do it the next day it just means they're a little uncomfortable about the price let me just show you some little small show you your options just so you can see no no I, I I'll I'm, I'm, I mean you can show me some more options but I like that one okay um, okay well, let me just show you the next one. Just, you know, again, just for. Okay. And what I, information would you need from me? Um, all I do is basically get the billing info, shipping info, uh, where you were, you know, rates you were sending it, put the card in and you'd be good to go. So it works out pretty fast. So you need, you need like one of my credit cards that takes it out automatically? Yeah, so take it, the first, it. it takes the first part today. Yeah. So you do do that as well. But let me just show you at least a customizing option because you can always customize your own set and I can still get you something for free. But what's the lowest you can, they have now? Lowest they have on what? What was that? I'm sorry. How am I in her meeting and I'm on this meeting? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Um, yeah, what's the lowest monthly price that they, they have? Yeah, I mean, well, obviously, we have someone has to spend at least 400 bucks put on the five pay, but let me take a look. So, we actually have a special because right now we're looking at five pieces, right? So right now we already have five knives. Do you, mm -hmm. do you think that you need the block? Oh, to put them in? Yeah. I, I don't, because I don't want to put them in the drawer. I mean, would you, would um, you do trays by any chance? We do have a special uh, where if you pick five and then yeah. I can actually, it, you know, if there's no block, it allows me to do the price a little bit lower as well. Okay. What's the lower price without the block? Ooh, let's take a look. And then I could actually throw in a tray for you to use as well, um, since you'd have somewhere to store them still as well. And the tray is awesome. I mean, it holds, you know, the dishwasher safe. You can take it apart for easy cleaning. And you can always upgrade into the, uh, into the block later on. You can always add on to the set. And, you know, obviously once everything kind of brushes over and things are a little bit more back to normal as well. So that's always a possibility um, and down the road there also. Let's take a look here. Um, okay. All right. So we're, what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking at the five knives that you that we are already looking at here, right? So this parry knife, this spatula, the turning fork, petite carver, petite chef, and then inside of a tray instead. Um, uh -huh. So I could get the price for those five knives, which is really the things that you wanted anyway. Uh, we could get that all the way down to 377. So the five tools, uh, and then uh, somewhere to store them in as well. And that would only be 377. And then on the five way, easy, or excuse me, uh, that would be over three months. We couldn't do that over five months. It, it had, there's, there's like a clearance that has to be hit to do over five months. We could do that over three months though, 
Um, so over three months, it'd be a little bit more today. So it'd be 137 today, but it'd only be two more payments of that. How's that total price there seem? 377, that's 120, that's about, one, about 125, 126 a month. So the 137 that I'm quoting you there, um, that includes Orange County sales tax. Oh. Yeah, so I'll say, I'm not sure the Inland Empire sales tax exactly, but I'm assuming it's pretty close. Yeah, ours is like, uh, what is that, seven point. Are you 7.75 as well? No, I don't think we're that high. No, okay, cool. So it'd probably be less than 137 anyway then. But that's just, that's including the tax already though. And that's only for three months? Yep. Sounds better, is it? Oh. <sighs> okay, I'll I'll do the um the um I'll just I'll do the I'd rather do three months. Okay, you want to you want to do this deal right here? Yes. All right. Well, congrats. You're gonna love your new Cutco then. So I can go ahead and uh, I can put that in right now. Um, what I'll do here real quick. I'll actually, let me just pause this so that um we don't also get anything else on there now actually wait, really quickly just because you know obviously i'm going to be your cutco guy as i start i'm going to start putting this in and you want you like the classic candles right like yes. you know, the brownish color okay cool um while i do that why don't i go ahead and just let you look at some of the accessory pieces just because that was kind of fun to take a look at um okay and then i got bring there you are, cool. So we'll take a look at some of the accessory pieces here. Um, and then I will start putting in order, but really quickly, just in case there's anything, just so I know, if there's anything that you like, I can always write it down for later. Like you said, over time, we can always add on to your set. Yeah, I like cool. that, I like that cleaver. You like the cleaver? Okay, cool. So I'll just make a little wish list here for you. Um, and that way, every time there's specials or anything like that, or maybe there's holidays, I can let Peter know as well. Um, some extra stuff we can show you. Oh, tell him he can buy it. Exactly. So the cleaver you said you definitely like for sure. I love that. And then I know, perfect. So that's that there. And then so we actually make coffee as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so just so you know, we make cookware. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with like waterless slow moisture cookware at all. Mm -mm. Can you see yourself replacing your cookware the next like two to five years? Yeah, probably so. Well, I'll put you down for cookware then. Uh, we can always take a look at some of those things as well after everything kind of blows over. I can show you some of that. I'll show you a little bit more about it later. Uh, we won't, I won't only watch the whole video because I know you got some stuff to get finished up here today as well. We also make, like I said, other table knives and flatware. We actually make an entire set of forks and spoons um, with the matching stainless steel table knives, which is awesome. I love that stuff, what I use at home now. Um, so we do make that. Uh, we also have, like I said, the larger steak knives here as yeah, well. Yeah, my... Oops, my um... Uh, my silverware are Linux. Is that, uh -huh. is that how you say the name? Linux? Uh, I'm not sure. But okay, so you couldn't see yourself adding, like, uh, replacing your flour anytime? No, because my, my silverware are, they're, they're, are, they're nice grade. They're nice quality. They're uh -huh. the lin, 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 Linux. I think it's Linux. They, oh, really? they, yeah, they're, they have their own little store, and they used to make a lot. They, like, make a lot of fine china and crystal mm -hmm. and things like that. Okay, gotcha. Cool. No worries. And I know I'll see a peeler. I'll, I'm gonna I'm, I'll get a, I'm gonna get a peeler to you, just so you know. So I know you like the peeler for sure. Uh, and then, can you see yourself seeing using any of these other gadgets? Like our pizza cutter has a removable blade, which is awesome. Uh, we have a wine opener, a can opener that's bulletproof. Uh, our ice cream soup actually melts ice cream as it scoops. I was using it last night. I was eating too much. Is ice it made cream. out? Of, is that one made out of titanium? Is that why? No. So our ice cream soup actually is. Uh, it's made out of moon rock. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding with you. Um, it's uh, oh, it's a, oh. a zinc chromium alloy. It's a heat conducting metal, basically. So it actually takes the heat coming off of the ice cream and circulates it to to melt it. It's pretty cool. So that's one. That's one of the favorites for sure. Could you see yourself using like that scoop, maybe? Yeah, and um, what the can opener that I have is um, it's um. It's the kind where you it, it's no edges. You can touch the edges. Okay, okay. No sharp, no sharp. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. Kind of like takes off the entire top, basically. Yes. Cool. And then we also make some sporting stuff. I know, from what I can tell, you seem to be like a really avid outdoorsman, like big hunter, yeah? Um, I'm a, um, I like to camp. You like to camp. Okay, cool. We do make really cool camping stuff. We have a couple, like, 
everyday like pocket knives and stuff like that. We have a really small little pocket knife. We have a lock back, which is more like of an everyday kind of utility thing. A golf mate. We like we make a couple K bars, an amazing fishing knife as well. Uh, can you see yourself using any of those things right there? Mm, I don't like that. It's it's Oh, I I just. Oh wait, can you hear me? We're hi there. Yeah, sorry, I didn't. I don't know. Froze pretty hardcore. Yeah, so I'm kind of frozen here. Not a problem. Hey, while we're doing, while it's reloading, then I'll go ahead and start putting in order. That'll just work out fine. Um, so what would be, what's the billing address then connected to the card? Probably your home address, I'd assume. Yeah, but I have a different shipping address. Perfect, no problem. Wrong. It's L-E-N-O-X. Okay. North Park, that's one word, Boulevard. North Park, gotcha, Rail. North Park, Boulevard, okay. San Bernardino. Got it. Nine two four zero seven. 